Porsche Panamera Review Our Rating 4 Star New Porsche Panamera improves on its predecessor with sharper styling, an exquisite interior and all new engines. 4 Excellent interior quality, improved looks, massive performance. Against Styling not to everyone's tastes, 4 seats only, high prices. The all-new Porsche Panamera marks a massive step on compared to its predecessor. It's based on an all-new platform and features all-new engines, while the interior takes Porsche's luxury cars to the next level. It even looks a lot more attractive than before, with sleeker lines and some interesting, eye-catching design details. It now rides like a proper luxury car but the chassis still delivers the capability you expect from a Porsche when it comes to driving enjoyment. Combined with a big hatchback, a sizable luggage bay and with so much tech crammed into the cabin, it all makes the Panamera an incredibly easy car to live with. As well as one that's comfortable and rewarding enough to drive to suit any mood. Our choice. Porsche Panamera Force Diesel. The Panamera is the most luxurious car Porsche makes, and it's reflected by the high price. From launch there were only three models available, the petrol fours, the fours diesel and the range topping turbo. Porsche has added a Panamera e-hybrid to the lineup, though, and you can also expect a more affordable entry-level Panamera diesel model to join the range in time. This entry-level diesel will make up the majority of sales once it arrives, but it'll still be quite an expensive car. However, the exclusivity the Porsche badge brings gives even the base spec car cachet that the BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe or Mercedes CLS can't match. Plus the high interior really moves the game on, evolving Porsche's connectivity systems. Equipment spec varies with trim level, with the turbo getting larger 20-inch wheels as standard, for example, but the core level of equipment is present in every car. This means the range is luxurious across the board. You can add lots of optional tech, such as rear wheel steering to improve agility, but even without any extra kit, the Panamera is a great upmarket four-seat car and a big step on from its predecessor. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4.6 Star From the entry-level V6 petrol to the range topping turbo, performance, refined ride quality and impressive handling are assured. Porsche is known for its sports cars, and even with its more refined models like the Panamera, it'll outperform many rival brands. The car's chassis is all new, so the Panamera is more practical, but also more agile. There's more aluminium used in the Panamera's construction, so for its size it's a relatively light car at 1,870 kg. It sits on the VW Group's new MSB platform for front-engined cars, which Porsche has been responsible for developing. The German manufacturer says this gives it great versatility as it means two different wheelbases, standard and long, can be produced, while further body derivatives are also relatively easy to realize. One result is that there is a Panamera Sports Turismo shooting brake estate in the pipeline. A new design of air suspension for this second-generation Panamera gives excellent ride quality and even on the largest 21-inch wheels of the turbo, the car floats over rolling surfaces. Potholes do cause the wheels to thump, but in the most part the car offers plenty of composure with good body control. In fact, it's probably the best riding Porsche yet. This doesn't come at the expense of agility, though. The steering is a beautiful weight and gear just right, while even in the chassis default setting it changes direction sweetly. As part of Porsche's standard active suspension management system, Sport and Sport End Mode stiffen up the dampers and add an extra element of focus. It does sacrifice ride quality a little, but the extra dynamic benefit in such a big car is impressive. Go for the rear-wheel steering option carried over from hotter version in the 911 range and the Panamera changes direction like a smaller, 
lighter car. This is partly due to the system allowing quicker, more direct direction changes but it also adds stability at higher speeds. It's part of Porsche's new 4D chassis control tech that integrates the PASM adaptive dampers, rear wheel steering, Porsche torque vectoring plus and Porsche dynamic chassis control, the brand's active anti-roll system to stop the car leaning as much in corners. All the systems now work together to maximize cornering performance. Engines There's crushing straight-line acceleration on offer in the turbo, which uses an all-new 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 producing 542 bhp and 770 nm of torque spread all the way from 1,960 rpm to 4,500 rpm. Four-wheel drive and launch control from the new 8-speed PDK dual-clutch automatic means the turbo can sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds, or 3.6 seconds if you go for the optional sport chrono package. Top speed stands at 190 miles per hour. The entry level force is more than sufficient, though. The new 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 features turbos inside the engine's V, just like the V8 turbo, while 434 bhp and 550 nm of torque mean the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint can be dispatched in 4.4 seconds, or 4.2 with Sport Chrono. The only diesel option from launch is the Force Diesel, which uses another new engine this time it's a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 which kicks out 416 bhp and a colossal 850 nm of torque, all of which is available from just 1,000 rpm. It makes the Panamera the world's fastest diesel saloon, according to Porsche, with a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.5 seconds, which drops to 4.3 with Sport Chrono, and a top speed of 177 miles per hour. The way it delivers its power is addictive, with a low-down swell of torque that effortlessly whisks you along in total refinement. Rev the turbo and it's obviously a lot faster, but no more frenetic, while the V64s emits a musical growl and more than enough performance for most situations. The new 8-speed box mated to all engines is great in auto mode, swapping ratios slickly, and is snappy in manual mode, too. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 3.9 star. The Panamera is no echo car, but efficiency improvements mean it returns respectable fuel economy given the performance on offer. As part of the Panamera's new engine lineup, all variants get cylinder deactivation technology that will shut down some of the unit's injectors on the move when maximum power isn't needed, helping save fuel. Unsurprisingly, the 4E Hybrid is the most efficient Panamera on sale, returning 113 mpg and emitting only 56g-kmco, according to Porsche's claims. The 4's diesel is currently the most efficient combustion engine model, however, returning claimed best economy of 42.2 mpg with 176g-km CO2 emissions. The pair of petrols are still usefully frugal given the performance on offer, with the fours offering a best of 34.9 miles per hour with 184g-km CO2. Fuel economy drops to 30.4 in the turbo, while CO2 rises to 212g-km. Just don't expect to see these figures if you exploit the Panamera's performance. Insurance Groups Premium cars like Porsches generally aren't cheap to insure, and the new Panamera is no different. Given its predecessor ranged from Group 46 to Group 50, expect high premiums despite some sophisticated safety technology. Depreciation Porsche's latest four-door is still very new so predicted residual values are hard to come by. However, our experts predict that the Panamera will retain between 48 and 53 per center depending on model, which is strong resistance to depreciation for a car priced around or above the £100,000 mark. Porsche is known for its reliability, too, so despite the tech-laden interior, 
we'd expect everything to be working just as well as it did when new with 100,000 miles on the clock. Interior, Design, and Technology 4.7 Star Inside the cabin is where the new Panamera really excels, with a beautifully crafted design and top-class materials. While it offered plenty of comfort, the previous Panamera center console was festooned with buttons, meaning it wasn't so easy to spot the one you wanted on the move. Porsche's designers have tidied up the high transmission tunnel for this new version, so there are fewer buttons while they're now touch-sensitive and covered by a slick glass panel. Above the center console there's a 12.3-inch touch screen showcasing the next evolution of Porsche communication management. Everything is controllable from this display, with even the central air vents opened and closed by sliding your finger up and down the screen. Apple CarPlay is included, while features such as Google Earth, Street View, in-car internet, and info on fuel prices are all offered as part of Porsche's Connect Plus system. The digital theme is carried over for the instruments, too. Although the car retains Porsche's trademark central analog rev counter, either side of this is a 7-inch screen that's customizable to show. Practicality, comfort, and boot space. 3.9 star. Despite rakish coupe looks and sloping tailgate, the four-seat Panamera offers plenty of practicality. There are now two body styles in the Panamera range, with the Panamera Sport Turismo added to the lineup alongside this four-door coupe. While the estate offers more space, despite the sloping roofline that regular Panamera offers plenty of room in the rear, with a low seating position meaning headroom isn't too much of an issue. The Force Diesel is only available in standard wheelbase form, but there's still ample legroom on offer in the rear, with a good level of storage for you electronic gadgets, too. The executive long wheelbase is 15 centimeters longer and available on other engine variants, so you'll definitely not struggle for legroom. In the front the rising center console and high dash cocoon the driver, with plenty of adjustment available for the steering wheel and seats. It gives a sporty atmosphere but with plenty of luxurious touches. Storage is also acceptable in the front, with a pair of cup holders, a bin between the front seats and long door bins that allow you to stow plenty of stuff. However, while the Panamera offers lots of space in the rear, it's only because it seats only four people. How it does this though is exquisite, with lots of opulent extras including business-style seats featuring a massaging function. Size The Panamera is more than 5M long and nearly 2M wide, so it's a vast car. The sleek styling means there's not too much glass area, either, but visibility is actually alright, and even when parking in tight spots it's not too difficult to maneuver. It's also low to the ground, but not that difficult to get into the front. Long rear doors open wide and help access to the back although you'll have to watch out for that flowing roof. Leg room, head room and passenger space. As mentioned, leg room inside the Panamera is great, even more so if you go for the executive model. There's a good degree of flexibility thanks to the seating, too, while the cabin is at least as roomy as rivals such as high-spec versions of the Mercedes CLS or Audi A7. Boot. Despite its sloping roofline the regular Panamera offers 500 liters of luggage room up to the edge of the rear seats. Fold these down and boot space increases to 1,340 liters. The power tailgate means loading bags is easy, although there is a little lip to lift them over and into the boot. There are tie-down points to secure loads, while the boot floor is flat and uniform in shape, so you can easily carry bulky items. Reliability and Safety 4.3 Star Porsche's reputation for reliability and advanced safety tech means the Panamera should be safe and easy to live with. Porsche has built a strong reputation for reliability thanks to its success in endurance racing, and many of the innovations it's developed in motorsport filter through to its road cars. You might not always be able to see them, but they should help reliability.
the German brand performed well in our most recent driver power owner satisfaction survey, finishing 7th out of 32 brands. There's lots of safety tech, too, so while there's no Euro NCAP rating for the Panamera, with big brakes, upgradable to ceramic composite items, an active bonnet system and plenty of airbags, it should provide a decent level of protection. You can also add more airbags in the rear, adaptive LED headlights, night vision assist, lane change and lane keep assist, adaptive cruise and Porsche's Inno Drive package that includes traffic jam assist for extra safety. Warranty As with all Porsche models, a 3-year slash unlimited mileage warranty comes as standard. Servicing As a premium brand Porsche servicing pricing is steeper than some mainstream rivals, but the cost of keeping your car on the road is still reasonable. However, bear in mind tires and brake pads will be expensive if these wear items need replacing. 